a time when the only thing that mattered was whether the music you listened to was in or out. But now it's not what you listen to, but how you listen to it. There have never been so many new ways to listen to music, and that means loads of new kit. Now, this may look like a flash pub quiz machine, but it's actually a whole new concept of buying music. It's a new music vending machine from Japan that works with existing mini-disc technology. Eventually, it'll be connected to a central computer library by optical fibre, giving you access to thousands of different tracks. The way it works is really very simple. You select a track, put your disc in, and it downloads onto your mini-disc in a matter of seconds. Please do not forget to retrieve your mini-disc from the slot. And if you want to sing along, you can even buy a lyric sheet. And for hardcore gadget fans, here are the facts that matter. The music vending machine should be coming to a railway station or bar near you later this year. The price per track will be around £2. Just a year ago, MP3 was virtually unheard of. Now it's big news. There's already a whole range of portable players. What's the big attraction? Pure music. And there's tons of it. It's all out there on the net. You've just got to have the patience to wade through it. Once downloaded, the music is stored in what's known as a solid state memory device, which means that you can make the players very, very small. So small, in fact, that nowadays you can carry your favorite tunes around in your watch. I'm told that this is the smallest MP3 player in the world. Time I was going. Like other MP3 players, it has no moving parts and no chance of the music jumping. Perfect if you're on the move, or if you have to run for the bus. At the moment, it only stores up to 16 minutes of CD quality sound. Hope the next bus comes soon or I'll have to listen to it all over again. The MP3 wristwatch will be in the shops this summer and will cost about 280 quid. Timmy Magic and DJ Spoonie from Radio 1's Dream Team, nothing beats the sound and feel of vinyl. I suppose, you know, we play CDs listening to music at home. It doesn't feel like you're DJ, and as soon as you touch vinyl, you feel like a DJ. So it's a connection, but does it sound any different? Most definitely. Um, the bass is a lot rounder, and the uh, top end is a lot warmer. I'm not saying that digital sound is bad, but vinyl definitely gives you the warmth that you don't get on CDs. So you've never been tempted to bin your records and go digital? Definitely never. Not. Most definitely no. not, no. Having said all that, the MP3 Brigade seem determined to kill off anything that moves, because now there's a complete MP3 club kit for professional DJs. So no more lugging around heavy record boxes like this, because all of your tracks fit in here. This specially designed software lets you do everything you can do on a turntable with half the effort, and the system can store over 10,000 tracks. Ah, oh, moves, like moves the filter. Changes the sound of the tune. Yeah. I love that. So what do you reckon, guys? How does it compare with your ordinary decks? They have their likenesses. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the same authenticity as, as playing vinyl, taking it out of the box and putting it on the deck but the end results are the same. So you're not going to leave your records at home just yet? No, no, not just yet. I'd like to do a gig with the kit, as long as there was turntables and an engineer there. Excellent. Well, thank you for being such good sports today. OK, Thanks thank very you. much. Okay. Now, if all of this seems a little bit professionally oriented, don't worry, because you can download similar software from the internet. Perfect if you're a budding bedroom DJ. The good news is that the simplified version of the software is free. You can't do as many tricks on it, but the professional kit would set you back two and a half grand. I think I'll stick with the basics. That's cool.